Well, I really thought he'd be found innocent. Um, I know a lot of the things that I read in the paper that were testified to were not true. Uh, witnesses did not always tell the truth. But the jury heard the whole evidence and the decision was in their hands. So I just had to tell Richard and, and I know my family will we'll rely on God to get us through. Um, I know those other families have suffered so much pain and uh, and now I think I feel what they have gone through. <laughs> So I, <laughs> you just try and do the best you can. And uh, there's a lot to go yet. Um, I don't know a lot about how these system court trials work and everything, but uh, he's got good attorneys and we'll find out what happens next week. Has he said anything to you over the last day or so? He's always said he didn't do it. He's always said he didn't do it. We, we prayed and... Uh, um, you know, there's so many good things that Richard did that helping out the community and everything that people have no idea. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to come now. What kind of good things? Tell me about that. Well, he worked as a street chaplain for Hope Cafe. He, he fed people. He gave them clothes. He took them to the doctors. He, he prayed with their loved ones when they were dying in the hospital. People called him morning, noon, and night. And it just doesn't sound like someone who would be so callous as to want to take lives. Mm -hmm. When he, he, he always reached out. So, you know, I just, um, I, I don't know what else to say. Carol, what's next for you? Oh, life goes on. God says he walks beside you day by day, and, and he does. And uh, we'll just... Uh, <laughs> try to reach out to those that are in need around me, you know, and um, go from there.